Period of Protection for April 19th, 2021. Brought to you by Protect Your Children, Inc. and ProtectYourChildren.org. ProtectYourChildren.org. The following are some vital tips on preventing kidnapping and child abduction. Number one, children always stay in groups of at least two or more people. Kidnappers are less likely to try and abduct you if there are witnesses around. Children, always change your specific ways that you walk to and from the bus stop or to and from your friends' houses. It is good to have one or more ways to get to where you're going because child kidnappers usually will stalk first and wait for a time and location where it's easiest to abduct you. If you take the same path around the same time every day, then a kidnapper will know exactly where and when to take you. If you think about previous cases where children have been abducted, you'll remember that they almost always were by themselves and usually walking to school or to a friend's house by themselves. Avoid walking or biking in dark areas, wooded paths, alleys, and back roads that have hardly any traffic or lights. Number three, children, keep an eye out for suspicious vehicles that you see every day. For example, if you see the same white van every day or even every other day constantly, this could be someone who is looking for a specific type of child to kidnap. Now think about it. How often do you normally notice the same vehicle every day where you walk or play by yourself? Number four, children, remember these two things. If someone grabs you, make sure you scream and hit their private parts at the same time. A kidnapper only has two arms, and he or she can't carry you, cover your mouth, and protect his or her private parts all at the same time. Number five, children never for any reason go towards someone's car, van, or truck. A lot of times a kidnapper will say, I have a cute puppy to see, or my animal is sick, can you help? Or I have free candy, or something like that. They might say, hey, your mom and dad sent me to come pick you up. Never listen to them. If you don't know them, stay away from them. They will be trying to get you near a vehicle so that when you scream and kick for the private parts at the same time, they'll have a better chance of taking you. Number six, parents, very important. Know which routes your kids walk or bike to their friend's house or to school. If someone were to take them, you would know what roads they were walking or biking on. This way you can tell the police exactly where to start looking for witnesses. Number seven, parents, get to know your neighbors, especially people in your immediate neighborhood or subdivision. This is important for the following two reasons. First, so you can know which people you feel comfortable with and deem appropriate for your children to be around. Number two, you can set up safe houses for your children to run to if an emergency with them or you should take place. Number eight. Parents, it's a great investment to enroll your child in at least a basic self-defense course. Most courses or karate schools are pay as you go, so you can quit even after a couple of months. Usually with about $50, your child can learn successful self-defense tactics. Number nine, parents, it is a great idea to practice defense tactics with your children. Go over a plan of what your children will do if they are approached or grabbed by someone. Make sure they know what they will do. God forbid they will ever have to use it. And kids, make sure when you're online or making videos that you are not talking or doing anything sexual. Make sure your real name, phone number, or location is not seen by anyone but you. And make sure your parents know anybody that you communicate with. Do not talk to anybody that you and your parents don't know in real life. Do not talk to strangers online. Be careful of adults posing as kids. And never contact someone outside of online that you or your parents don't know in real life. Remember, adults can use voice changers to sound like kids, so you think it's safe to contact them. But the question is, do you really know who's behind that profile? I want to thank you for taking time to listen to this period of protection. Stay tuned for the next one. Until then, stay vigilant and keep protecting.